everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial. I am excited to be bringing you the Stamp Timber exclusive collaboration set with My Favorite Things. This adorable set is literally close to my heart because it is of cats. And if you follow me on Instagram and you see all of my cat posts that I share usually in my stories, you know I have a pack of four kittens and they are one of the most joyful things in my life. I adore them all and I knew when I saw this set that I needed to create a card that featured all four of them. And I ended up deciding to create a fifth cat in this card and I'll talk to you about why I created that fifth cat. But first let's talk about the card itself. I wanted to create something colorful and fun using this exclusive set. I just adore it. So. We have here the My Favorite Things Perfect Friends stamp set. There are a pack of kittens in this set and I'm going to be using five of them today in my card. I'm going to start by stamping them onto Nina White cardstock using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And that's because I'm going to Copic color these cats. So I want something that's going to work well with my Copic markers. And that's one of the reasons why I love my Intense Black Ink so much is that because this Simon Says Stamp formula works great for not just watercolors, but also Copics. So that means I can use it with all of my favorite mediums and not have to worry about it bleeding. So like I said, I'm using Copics and I'm coloring each of the cats to look like the four cats that I have in my Motley crew. I have a black tuxedo cat named Maddie. I also have a calico named Allie. And I have two butterscotch cats named Thomas and Oscar but you'll notice I'm coloring a fifth cat. And that is the black and white cat with the teal bow tie. And when I saw that cat with the bow tie, I immediately thought of my friend Jen Cherkis, who lives literally down the road from me. And she has three cats of her own. One of them, who many of you I'm sure know, is Mr. Harley. And Mr. Harley has been with her for many, many years. And he is the sweetest cat. I've actually gotten to meet him. And he is adorable. So I wanted to make sure that he was featured in this card with my four kittens. And if you don't follow Jen Shirkus, I definitely encourage you to check her channel out. Whether you follow her on Instagram, YouTube, her blog, please be sure to check Jen Shirkus out because she is very talented. I adore her work and you're going to get inspired by the things that she creates too. So I'll link to her both here on the video and also in my blog. All right, and so for those of you who are interested in the Copic colors that I used, I do have them linked over in my video description or on the blog also. All right, so let's move on to the card. I wanted to add the word Mew onto the card because of course cats meow, and I thought this would be a great three letter word to add in the card because the word Mew is actually included in one of the sentiments in the stamp set. So that's what made me pick that. I used the Everett Solid Alpha dies from CZ Designs and Simon Says Stamp. I cut that from some white cardstock. On a separate piece of watercolor paper, I'm going to watercolor some stripes to create a cool textured background that I can add behind the letters that I've die cut from my white panel. So I'm adding these different stripes of watercolors onto my background. And then once it dries, I'm going to pull out this nautical stripe stencil from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to stencil on some paste. Now for those of you that don't like to get messy, you're gonna cringe here. I wanted to use the Gina K Designs Iridescent Glitter, but I wanted it as a more random application. I didn't want it completely covering the background. So I'm using my finger to spread this paste across my card, but only in strategic areas. And you'll notice I'm missing certain spots intentionally so that I, I create a more random application. And I really like how this looks. You could definitely do this with a palette knife, but I felt like I had more control with my finger. And I don't mind getting messy, so I definitely didn't mind doing this. But if you wanted to, you could put a glove on to try to minimize the amount of mess that you're creating on your hands. So once this dried, I did glue this down onto my slimline card panel. I then added the Mew panel on top of that. And you can see how those die cut letters really look cool with those colors behind there. And then here's where I brought in my cats and I started popping them up off of that white panel just to create a little bit of dimension, which really looks cool with, with those great die cut letters offset off of that colorful background. I think this creates a really great depth to your card. 
So once I have all those glued down, I did decide to add some white highlights to the kittens just to create a little bit more extra interest to them. And then finally, my last finishing touch was to add a secondary sentiment underneath the word Mew, which is that I'm head over paws for you. This is one of the sentiments that's included in the My Favorite Things and Simon's Stamp Stamp Timber exclusive. So that's going to complete my very colorful but super cute cat card using the Perfect Friends stamp set, which is the Simon's Stamp and My Favorite Things collaboration set for Stamp Timber 2020. One thing I do want to tell you is that if you love this set as much as I do, you're definitely going to want to get it as soon as possible because these Stamp Timber sets have been selling out like crazy. They have been going so fast. So if you really like this, I'm sure this one's going to sell out just as fast as all the others. So you might want to grab it while you can. I have links to the stamp set down in my video description or over on my blog so you can check it out there. And I hope that you were inspired by today's project. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will be back soon with not only more stamp temper inspiration for you, but more videos in general too. So stay tuned. I'll be back with more to share. But until next time, I hope you have a very wonderful day. Bye.